Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today again, or like yesterday, we will react to a video uh, in v of December, December, because Christmas is around the corner, it's arriving, and also to be to post daily until the release of Liney book to uh, the Christmas special chapter because yes, there is one, there's going to be one. Now, I kind of I kind of saw how my voice was even worse than once the last time I did a reaction channel back a reaction video back in twenty twenty in Halloween time the, uh, back when I did the reaction series for Halloween reacting to Jesse V. Yeah. So uh, again, we will give credit to her in the description. I will I will also give her credit in the video itself because she is um. Hard, she is a hard-working person and uh, Yeah, let's see how much I can do uh, I can do these videos for this reaction chat this reaction videos for until Christmas and after uh, But except on the date of the release which I will not tell yet or I, which I will not tell I'll probably tell it on the release on TikTok because I have the same account as on TikTok but only that I changed it to be called Liney Official but yeah uh, I will post there some uh, screenshots of how uh, one screenshot of how it will look like and yeah I'll just show you one screenshot of how it will look like and also the date as well as now of course the logo but uh, importantly, the date and a screenshot of how it looks like, to so we can see it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Yeah, let's. Oh, also, as the, the last video, I'm going to skip the advertisements on this video because they, uh, uh, the advertisements, because one, uh, they do not, uh, uh, they do not, they're not uh, about me, not necessarily about me, but yeah, it's not necessarily the reaction video itself, but you should totally check, it, uh, check uh, her original video out again and actually watch the advertisement if something is interesting to buy something from her so you can support her channel yes i am again as i said it last time i am way smaller than her but that does not matter i should give credit no matter what jesse v and in today's video i'm going to be talking about a very creepy legend that has to do with red snowflakes and just like my title if you ever see one it's already too late. So heed this warning and watch this video and find out how you can avoid it and everything you need to know about it. As you can see, I am totally decked out for Christmas. We got a new backdrop. I'm wearing a Christmas sweater, so cozy, so comfy. So because I have a new backdrop, that means I'll be announcing the winner of last month's backdrop. All right, so the announcements, so we will not, we will not talk about them. Why? Uh, well, again, as I said, uh, these do not, usually do not part part in take part in the actual reaction videos themselves but again watch her videos if you want to buy something from her totally do you should totally do that okay uh, i should probably stop and just let the video play i will put a link down below for you so i first wanted to start with some really crazy winter phenomenons before we get into the red snowflake these right. are things that actually happen in the world they're so intriguing to me first we have light pillars which are pastel colored and they're floating eerily off the ground and these columns of light have often been mistaken for ufos those who catch sight of them on a freezing winter night are often awed by their beauty which seems like the work of aliens or some otherworldly power there is a scientific explanation I would want to uh, say my idea on what it is. Maybe some refraction thing going on in the sky that makes it be like that. <clears throat> because, yeah. But that's um, um, my idea. It's not, I don't know about the scientific one. I'm just seeing this. As the always, thing. during very cold, windless nights, flat ice crystals from high altitudes can form closer to the ground and reflect the street lights from cities and the ground. I knew it. It was some, I only, not only that I said refraction and not reflection of the light 
but still something about light. So about light reflecting, refracting. But yeah, that's it. Lights from cars, and this creates that haunting alien like appearance. And it usually reflects whatever color item it's the light is bouncing off of, and that's why it's like super colorful and cool. I would love to see this in person. Then we have something called penitence, which I'm definitely not saying correctly. These strange formations of snow resemble lethal patches of spikes. In fact, some of them can reach much higher than a person's shoulder, up to 20 feet tall. Wow. It can be startling to see these claw like blades rising from the ground like hooded figures. And apparently these are just formed from hardened snow or ice at altitudes above 4,000 meters and just Oh, and I suppose like the rest of the fluffy snow gets eroded quote-unquote or it goes flatter Like when you compress the snow on when under your feet Yeah, I suppose that's how it is and then they just because the snow there is more compact and harder to be blown away or melted away or something to go away it just remains there. So I suppose that's what it is. Over time, these really crazy spikes are formed. Yeah. We've got ice balls. In a remote village of Siberia in 2016, the residents were greeted with an odd assortment of objects that seemed to have been washed ashore from the inner reaches of the sea. And these ice balls stretched 11 miles. Most of them were three feet in diameter, so they were pretty big. And they're basically like a slushy mixture of ice crystals and water that are just formed from like really rough waves mixed with strong winds. I mean, this would be also really crazy to see in real life. You can Oh, also, let me just... Um, wait. I don't know how much is three feet in centimeters, but... I suppose it's... <clears throat> well, of course, it's going to be a lot. So, I don't know how to calculate it, but... Nah. Make, like, endless frosties. You know, snowmen everywhere. We have something called thunder snow, an awe-inducing word that is exactly what it sounds like. Thunder snow is a phenomenon that occurs when thunder and lightning happen during a snowstorm. Now, the conditions have to be just right for this to occur, and I believe last year, my sister and I both heard thunder snow, which is really, really crazy. Then we have pancake ice, which is these strange frozen lily what? pads that dot rivers covering huh. the water with circles of up to three meters across. They look like frisbees. Three meters pizzas, across but they're made up of ice and it's what? when slush accumulates on top of the water uh if you do not know actually i do not know how to convert meters into feet but uh, that's taller than a person than a six foot tall person actually or something it's taller than a two meter high person well of course it is bigger and also it's not taller but bigger than a person if uh like a very bigger than a tall person I don't know, but uh, if, but Americans, if you like, want to imagine this, just a uh, three meters, just yeah, pretend, uh, just think of a six foot tall person, and it's much bigger, by like, I don't know, if two meters would be six feet, then I suppose one meter would be three feet, but I'm not sure, I just suppose, it. because six, well, six feet are almost two meters, it's more like one ninety something. But yeah, around two meters, so I suppose then uh, it would be around one foot, one meter, something like that, around that much, I don't know, I'm not sure. Our surface, and then like they kind of bump together and make these round lily pad looking things, super weird. Okay, so let's get into this red snowflake legend. This story is called The Legend of Everwood. There's a legend from the 1700s about a village called Everwood. It was nestled deep in the forest and consisted of only 100 people. All right, great. Ads. And consisted of only 100 people. And every year when they got their first snowfall, they looked outside their windows and into the sky, dreading what was coming next. They knew that as soon as they saw a single red snowflake fall to the ground, something evil would grace their town. Do you know how hard it would be to keep an eye out for one single red snowflake? Um... Like, for example, it could just be someone just accidentally bled out a single drop of blood and everyone would freak out. But uh, everyone would freak out, but it would just be like, you just, yeah. Like, for example, if you, uh, if you live on a two-story building and like, I don't know if there in Everwood there are two-story buildings, but if there are and someone just bled a single drop of blood, everyone would freak out. <clears throat> and if they were at, yeah. Or, I don't know, it's not normal. 
how would that even form naturally? And also, how would it be able to literally sit? It'd be only one. And also show that something bad will happen. Well, of course, uh, we're talking here how it would happen scientifically because, of course, it would be uh, God wanting to warn humanity or just an evil creature just deciding to possess a single leaf to unleash, uh, well, to warn Everwood of this is coming of what it would be. <clears throat> but scientifically, I have no idea how it would be read and... Yeah, I don't think Rust would take would do it. It would have to be like all eyes on deck, looking in every single direction constantly. They must have had someone like standing on a rooftop, keep an eye out to call when they saw one. For some reason though, the red snowflake usually appeared at nightfall, and it almost had a glow to it as it fluttered to the ground. And as soon as it was in your sights, you had to run into your house, shut your curtains, close your doors, lock every single entryway, and you had to go hide in the darkest room of your house. They couldn't come out of their house until morning, and apparently- Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so totally that means that a demon or an evil creature is coming, but most likely a demon because there's not really any other cre evil creature, except maybe a- a creature, any random woodland creature, just possessed so hard by one, it changes anatomical structure. Or it just goes cuckoo crazy. Or it becomes bipedal. Yeah. Or I guess if demons can be strong enough to make a human from bipedal to have four legs, I have no idea how you pronounce that part of pedal. Yeah, I suppose. I like to walk on their hands as well. I'm sure they can make a deer go from four legs to two legs or also it just might be one demon by itself or not very one maybe multiple or one who knows but yeah the demon probably wouldn't be able to see you in the darkest room because they're demons they can't see everything they can only see what the humans see probably Apparently, while they are hiding they will hear strange noises outside and this otherworldly chill will fill their houses and yep that's a demon <clears throat> that's not even a possessed deer or something that's just straight up a demon now the only th other thing i would like to i would like you to check out is put a crucifix in or a holy item if you have access to one in everwood i don't know um or see if there's a church in Everwood. I don't know uh, if the de of the if the creature or the chill or the whatever it is actively avoids the church or actively avoids the houses with the crucifix or something. And not even blankets will keep them warm or fire. They will be cold all through the night. It is yeah. said that while the town is empty and people are hiding away in their houses, a hooded entity will walk the streets, leaving a trail of red snow behind it. And if you didn't... Yeah, 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 that's a demon. That's a demon. Hide on time and it spots you with its hollow eyes. It will place a curse on you and your family that you will have to deal with for the rest of your life. Yep, that's a demon. Gifts, curse, yeah, demon. There's no other evil creature except demon or demon possessed creatures. So yeah, we found out that yeah, that's a demon. Do crucifix now on it. And it works. Say all that is left is these streaks of red snow, showing exactly the path of where this entity was roaming. You can even see whose doors and windows it walked up to, which is so creepy. I'm definitely glad that this is only a legend. Or at least I hope so. I don't know. Demons are real, so totally can happen. It totally can happen in any city. <clears throat> if there are mo enough no, demons in a city, well, like enough, probably meaning only the 13 that rebelled. I don't know how many demons there are in Christianity, but that's at least 13. <clears throat> because 13 did rebel, and that's it. So, yeah, I guess that's why E13 is an evil number or something. But anyway, if there are enough, then they can happen anywhere. If there are enough demons, then not necessarily just, uh, yeah, but also a building. Well, buildings because they would have a pot. Well, if a single entity can go after a, a village with eleven, uh, with uh, one hundred visit, uh, with one hundred residents, then. I am sure it could go after anything, and if enough demons, then they could totally become true. And also if God allows it to happen. 
course, I was able to find a creepy red snowflake game, and here are the rules. Either craft a red snowflake ornament, or find a Yay, red more object, demon summoning. this will serve as your red snowflake beacon. And then you have to go outside and place it in your chosen spot in the snow. Wait until midnight to begin the game. The silence of a winter's night will amplify the paranormal atmosphere. So you have to stand right near your red snowflake beacon, and close your eyes and listen for any unusual sounds or whispers you know just summon a demon cutely in the middle of the night in the middle of the forest because that's totally safe it's 100 percent safe with nothing on you well except god's will I, yeah and that's it if god wants you to survive this thing you will survive it if not then no and you will die this is not safe do not try this do not test god for example, do not, uh, like how uh, Satan, evil dude, whatever you want to call him, tricked, uh, tried, tried, and failed to trick Jesus into jumping off a cliff, and then Jesus did say, do not test the God. So, yeah, you're playing with your life here. You're gambling with your life. You, and then walk in a slow circle around your red beacon. Then More imagine summoning. your connection with the winter weather. Feel the cold on your face. Then visualize the Yeah, this is basically doing magic summoning sky, demon spells. Otherworldly energy. If you truly other, believe, you can... Otherworldly, otherworldly energy. You know what that means? Red. Winter. Darkness. M exactly. Wait, so red. Midnight, cold, alone, whispers, visualization, it's going around in circles, otherworldly sounds, if I say that already. Those are a reasons why this is a bad idea. This is totally a demon summoning thing. Please don't. No. Open your eyes, and the red snowflake will fall right before you and land right beside your red beacon. And if you do not see one, you must draw a snowflake pattern around your beacon with your foot, which apparently will close off the game. So this sounds interesting. Obviously, I want to try it on the vlog channel. There's no rules as to when you have to do it. Just make sure it's winter. Make sure it's midnight. So I think this sounds pretty easy. Also uh, but don't. As I said again. Winter, the darkest time, midnight, the, and the coldest and darkest time of the day, and the coldest and darkest time of the year, and getting cold presences, getting good whispers. Uh, I think that's four so far. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it was five. I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm playing around like it's a freaking ritual and visualizing that like it's a freaking magic spell. No, I please no, no one, no one. I said this already, and if you want to do it, I guess you're risking it. But no, please don't. It's really creepy. Anyway, so guys, please. this is the end of today's video. If you want me to do more creepy Christmas legends, give us. A so yeah, um, <clears throat> perfect, wonderful. We got a legend. We got a ritual demon thing that you shouldn't try. And uh, some phenomena, which those are cool, but yeah. As I said again, creepy stuff, Christmas, perfect, totally. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to watch her. I, I know I have repeated myself with the why this is a bad idea to do this for so many times, but I there is no enough time to say why freaking doing this, uh, something in the middle of the night in the middle of winter is a bad idea. I can't say that enough times. It is a bad idea. Don't do it, okay? All right, that's the fourth time I said it and I won't say it again. It is your fault if you do it. So uh, yeah, and uh, make sure to have a happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas, and I see you the next time I'm going to do another reaction video. Goodbye.